All right, so fixing a short attention span is actually not as hard as it might seem, but it does take focus and dedication, commitment to actually doing it. And one of the reasons or one of the things that gets us to where we are currently having a short attention span is the lack of focus. So you got to keep in mind that these glass screens are computers. We like to call them a phone, but they're a computer. They process bits of data, and they send ones and zeros out to a cell tower that goes up through the OSI layer, OSI layer model of open system interconnections. And this is all computer science. But ideas are being delivered to a glass screen into your consciousness. Now, if you don't forcefully block that, you will not be get you will not be in control of any ideas that you can call yours. The ideas that are coming from the, the glass screen into your consciousness are being forced upon you, and you do have to forcefully block that and say no. And you have to allow your own processes begin to wind back up. Um, one of the best ways to do that, let me grab this, is to get yourself a book. This is a very, very great book. If you can begin to understand the pages of this particular book, um, you can begin to adopt a thinking pattern that the writer put into this book, a similar thinking pattern. And through that, that's how the, those those people and their thinking patterns, you're able to adopt a more healthy one from another person. So content influences and books are content. And the best part about the content is it's nice and slow and steady. And not only are you taking in the content and the idea and growing your mind, you're allowed to have your own thoughts while you're reading it, okay? So slowing down and attaining your own ability to focus is something that's now currently being robbed of you through these vertical swipe um, shorts or reels or TikToks. That's being stolen because it is literally the perfect gamified solution of delivering content and and monetizing the human consciousness. It's able to use create ad revenue and monetize human consciousness. And consciousness is when light is shed upon something and awareness happens from the person shedding light onto it. And so that glass screen is delivering someone else's ideas and it's creating the fact that your time is no longer been yours and your thoughts are overrun. So it's very important, maybe learn some stuff about um, uh, information systems or uh, some of your own psychology because that will help you deflect, turn this thing off, push those thoughts back out, put that phone away, stay away from it because that stuff is drugs um, and when you educate yourself you're able to execute the things that you've been trying to execute but when you actually have the education behind it it makes it so much easier I don't eat bad hyper palatable foods with MSG because I understand what it does to my gut biology my gut microbiome most of all my health stuff comes from a gut first standpoint. What's going on with my gut bacteria? Um, not eating is probably the best thing to fix a bad or leaky gut. So when you have education, that's when things change. And that's the way that's also a way that totalitarian authoritarianism um, happens is when people lose access to be able to educate themselves. So once there's no longer uh, allowed access for people to educate themselves, there's really now no alternative, even if they add the inkling 
to, hey, maybe I could go learn how to fix this issue. So it's very important while we, there's still access to learning um, what you want to learn rather than having it swiped and mindlessly uh, beamed into your brain and monetize you into ad revenue. It's very important to turn that thing off, take control of your own mind, get yourself a book, and an hour, one hour, your thoughts can become clear, okay? Write down on a list, if, you, if you're going to do a list-oriented, lists are great. There's nothing wrong with lists. All right, peace.